unbeknownst to us, because we were not part of any art world movement, we were simply, you know, these outlaw hero dudes cross over into New York social scene where there was like galleries. And that was a transition from being an underground subway rider in New York to an artist. This is before like really there was any frenzy of companies like approaching street artists. There's guns everywhere, this and that, and then you go home and then you're looking at art books. Painting is real kind of like zen. You're 19 years old and you see some work that you've done professionally on billboards and bus stops. I had always noticed the subway signs in the subway. And I was like, oh, I wonder if there's a way to change those. I figured out how to break into the code. I sketch it really light, and then the last thing I'm going to do is going to be the black. I never had like an established career in graffiti or, you know, a oh, lack of interest in that. But the sentiment of that is what I wanted. When I tattoo someone, I'm putting my 30 years of experience on them. You really get a piece of me. So if I'm in a bad spot, I'm fucked up, you get some of that energy put on me. You know what I'm saying? 